Hello and welcome to Food Tech 101. This series is aimed specifically at all those students who have chosen the Food Preparation and Nutrition GCSE as one of their options. But what exactly is this GCSE all about? What kind of stuff will I learn? Well, the first thing to know is that you're not going to spend all your time making fairy cakes and cookies. Let's get that misconception out of your head right now. The Food Preparation and Nutrition course is an exciting study into both how food is prepared and what it does in our bodies. As such, the course will cover both the science and the function of ingredients, as well as developing practical cooking skills. The assessment for this GCC is divided into two distinct areas. These are NEAs and a written exam. Let's take a look first at the NEAs. NEA stands for Non-Examination Assessment. NEA 1 takes a form of a written report exploring the chemical and functional properties of ingredients. You will be given a brief set by the exam board which will require you to research into a particular area and perform food investigations slash practical experiments. Whereas the NEA1 is more about report writing and food investigations slash experiments, the NEA2 gives you a chance to really showcase your cooking skills. You are presented with a task by the exam board which gives you an opportunity to explore the cuisine of a particular culture or dietary group through the preparation of a number of dishes culminating in a three-hour cooking exam. At the end of the two years, there is also a one hour, 45 minute written exam, which will be looking to test your knowledge on all the, the key areas that were covered in the GCC so far. These are the key areas. There are five main areas that we'll be looking to cover over the course of a two year period. One, food nutrition and health, food science, food safety, food choice, and food provenance. Now we're going to be breaking down each one of these categories because they have lots of information within them and going through them in a lot more detail. So you don't have to worry about that. Again, that comes later on in the series. Phew, that's our intro over. Now, are you ready for our food journey? Okay, let's begin.